Crazy guy next to me. Hi. Hi. Not my fault. It never is. Nope. This is the man holding me back. I understand. I've been there. Just Welcome to mask. episode 20 of Nerd News. A milestone. Yep. I'm, as always, Jeremy, and that's Moon Knight. Yep. So, Moon Knight, what happened in video game news this week? Well, first up, apparently, Guild Wars 2, Heart of Thorns, released, and IGN had the top 10 things to think about, or know, about the expansion. Yep. Firstly, the level cap is not gonna, going to be changing with this expansion. Nope. It's staying at 80. Yep. Instead, you'll get new masteries to improve with experience, adding new customization to the game. Mm-hmm. What else? Uh, the, it's a literal expansion that focuses primarily on one region of the map. Woo! Extra region. Yep. And it, it also shakes up the racial dynamics. Indeed. In puts the, the whites on top and the blacks on bottom. Oh, wait, that's how it is now. <laughs> Maybe not. But yeah, the story apparently is focusing on a dragon that created the Silvari race. And so now, other races in the story are racist against them. Those racists. Because they don't know whether they can trust them. You can't. You can never trust a Silvari. Saying it for years. Especially those engineering ones. Yeah. Never played the game. It's okay. Also, they're getting a new class, the Revenant. Yep. Which is the first class since 2012. Mm -hmm. Which play, pays homage to Guild Wars 1's heroes, ta taking on the aspects of characters from Guild Wars past. Yep. It's pretty neat, actually. Also, all of the combat classes are gaining elite specializations. As an example, a ranger when they wear, use a staff, will become a druid. Woo! Yep. Also, there's going to be more raids, more guild halls. Oh, there's going to be guild halls. Oh, I thought they, they already had those. Nope. Oh. Well, there's going to be guild halls and uh, new world versus world battlegrounds. Kind of like Rift, I assume? Something like that. I think that's how I think that's how Rift works. Yeah, it's like basically a server versus a server. Yeah. And also, there's going to be a, a MOBA-inspired PvP map. Yep. Which, if you like MOBAs, should be fun. Mm -hmm. And new players only need to buy the expansion. The primary game comes with it. Yep. It is also now, I think, free to play. For everybody? For the primary game. I think so. That's Quite possibly. Cool. I might have to check it out then. Yep. Once I get my computer working again. Uh, Here. So, yeah. Then also, video game news. Yep. Tekken 7 released the same trailer it released before, only with subtitles. And everybody's calling it the announcement trailer, which it technically is. But well, it's the English it's, announcement trailer. Yeah, but it's not, not much anything new. Aside from now, we understand what the frick is going on. And also, the funny part is, they released the English one at the Paris Game Show. Mm -hmm. You think they would have released the French one at the Paris Game Show? Get your country straight, Japan. Indeed. Jeez. Also, more news from the Paris Games Week. Street Fighter V set down a release date of February 16th and revealed Dalsum. Yep. He grew a beard in the last 15 years. Yep. And he's got a cool new move kit. Yep. It looks pretty cool. Uh, next up, <clears throat> Detroit Become, Become Human uh, announcement trailer released at the Paris Game Week. Indeed. And it looks really good. Here. Looks really pretty, too. Well, that's what I mean by good. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the gameplay is not going to be good. Because <coughs> it's just an interactive movie thing. Mm -hmm. But I'm sure the story will be cool. Mm -hmm. And the, the, it's going to be beautiful. Yep. Uh. 
Next up is No Man's Sky. It's finally got a release month. Yep. Not a date, just a month. Of June 2016. So it'll mm-hmm. probably be like August 31st. So that's, ha- that's what happens. Yep, when you have a month, sometimes it goes to another month, then another month, then more months. Yeah, especially if you're Star Citizen. <laughs> it goes to a different year. Then also, Paradox Interactive bought the rights, or actually bought White Wolf licensed, licensed IPs from CCP Games. Yep. Uh, which involves World of Darkness and... Um, wasn't there another one? Uh, Vampire the Masquerade. Yeah, that's it. Vampire the Masquerade, which I remember hearing about like four years ago. Yep. Like, oh, they're making a new MMO. Cool, whatever. Back then, I used to play EVE, so I mm-hmm. kind of cared a little bit. But now, and then that's the last I ever heard about it. Like, yeah, because, we're making this awesome new because game. Because apparently, CCP wanted to focus more on EVE anyway, so... Yeah, the EVE universe. They just keep making new yeah. EVE games, and they all look like tiny little fucking games. Mm-hmm. And so they did that rather than focusing on the MMO, and they kind of just dropped it completely. But now a different company picked it up. Yep, so. now Paradox has it. Indeed. Do we know who's going to be making the game? Because they're a, they're a uh, producer. Company. I'm like, not yeah. sure. It would what, that be the White Wolf license company? Right? Licenses or whatever? Well, that's the license. That's 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 not who makes the okay. game. That's just the I just figured IPs. there might be more people with the IP then. I, uh, not who usually. Who focus with it. Okay. Usually In that case, we don't. The, yeah. okay. We don't know yet. <laughs> they, they might they might still be looking. Yep. Could be. Or they're just gonna sit on it for ten years. Mm-hmm. Who knows? Next up, Mirror's Edge Catalyst has been de- delayed from February twenty third mm-hmm. to May twenty fourth. Because they want to focus on releasing an amazingly polished game. Day one DLC. They're working on day one DLC. <laughs> Then, Star Wars Battlefront gets another trailer. Who cares? It was pretty. That's about it. Who cares? Other than that, you know, 12 million people are going to buy that game. And have already pre-ordered. And hate that they pre-ordered it. (laughs) I hate that they pre-ordered it. Because that's exactly what we need to stop doing. Mm Pre-ordering games that are going to suck. Games that are are built on on a logo. Mm-hmm. And then there's very little else. Yeah. Which is Battlefront to the T's. Then also. Speaking of crappy games that should never have been pre ordered. Yep. Batman Arkham Knight <coughs> was re released for the PC and it still doesn't fucking work. Nope. Apparently, according to a bunch of Steam reviews, which is like, I think, over six pages long already, you need to have a very specific system requirement. For the game to even function properly. Still. How do you fuck up that hard? And otherwise other people, like if you're playing like on Windows 7 even, it's built to where you can play it on Windows Vista and upward. If you're playing it on anything 7 and below, it crashes. As soon as you enter the game, and then everything else, there's a high chance that it will crash or it won't crash. Uh, And while having more RAM does help, it hasn't been... The complete issue. So, yeah. But we do have a review on people by a reviewer who's actually able to play the full game. Yep. And he gave it a D. Yep. If you're using the retarded grading scale, I mean, <laughs> the re- the grading scale they use for kids nowadays. Yep. Uh, yeah. So don't buy that fucking game on PC. Don't buy it at all. Fuck those people. Quit farming your games to China. Or, like, at least wait two, three years when it's five dollars. No. dollars. Because it's still going to be broken. Or one dollar. They're probably just going to say, fuck it, good enough, and never patch it. Yeah, even though it's probably Cut a patch their that losses. they can fix in, like, one day. <laughs> I don't know. It sounds like it's intrinsic in the system. It like, could be. Because <laughs> they had six months to fix this game, and they couldn't do it. Mm-hmm. They got their monies. I mean, they fixed it enough where it's not like as abysmal as it originally was, 
but it's still now pretty it fucking just bad. Doesn't work. Yeah. Before it didn't work well. Now it doesn't work. For some people. Now it still works for other people though, with minor glitches in the mm. game itself. But don't get the game. Yeah. Stay very far away from it. So on to movie news. That indeed. First up, Suicide Squad has unveiled its collectible covers for Empire Magazine, mm. along with blowing up the internet with new pictures from that issue. Indeed. There's a link below of all the images if you want to see them. Yep. Moving on to John Wick 2 news. Uh, there was a casting news that Common is casted to play a villain in the sequel. Wasn't me. He'll Didn't primarily be the muscle for a female crime lord who is hunting John Wick. And the production of the film wiener. is expected to be have begun this week. This week. To begin this week? Yep. As in the week after Halloween? Or like... This week, because the story the, was earlier the week. Oh, yeah. so it... Yeah. So it Probably has already That's what I begun. Said begun. Yep. So yeah. John Wick Two is being made. As we speak. Also, Olivia Wilde wants to be a superhero. Mm -hmm. She should go to go to Manitowoc and roll around in their toxic waste. <laughs> that usually does it. She can become the Toxic Avenger. It's a good superhero. Indeed. But yeah. More importantly, she wants to be Captain Marvel. Yep. Well, somebody, I think, asked her about being Captain Marvel, well, and yeah, she said... She, yeah, sure, why, yep. why not? She Just like that. To. That's yep. my perfect Pretty much. Olivia Wilde impression. Mm -hmm. Yeah, sure, why not? So, yeah. And she'd also like there to be more nuance and whatnot complexity, etc. for female superheroes. Well, then maybe she should write for Marvel. Mm -hmm. Or DC. DC needs it more than Marvel does. Yep, yeah, because they don't have one yet. They don't have, they have one coming, much of anything. But it's the exact trope that she wants out of female superheroes, which is being completely overly like goddess-like. Perfect. perfect. Yep. That's basically Wonder Woman. Mm. Yeah. So. Yep. But apparently she hasn't heard of Jessica Jones yet. Anyway. Pacific Rim 2. As stated a few episodes ago. Was trying was waiting on their script and budget. But recently Guillermo del Toro tweeted. The budget and script are done. No answers yet as to whether they have a green light. But he'll let us know when something happens. Cool beans. Mm -hmm. Hopefully it doesn't suck as much as the first one did. Mm-hmm. And now comes in all the hate. Bring it on, nerds. I didn't really like that movie. Me I don't either. know. It kind of bored me. Me too. I liked the imagery, but all the words that were coming out of their mouths angered me a little bit. Mm -hmm. And the fact that there were two pilots, one, one controlled the left side and one controlled the right side, made absolutely no sense. Indeed. Because walking would be incredibly difficult. Much less fighting. Anyway. Prometheus 2 has been confirmed and renamed Alien Paradise Lost. In case you weren't quite sure if it was an Alien prequel or not. Mm -hmm. And now Neil Blomkamp is sad. Because now he can't make his Alien movie. Alien District 10. <laughs> in Johannesburg. I would actually want to see that. It'd be better than Paradise Lost. Possibly. That's my prediction. District 10. The alien story. Featuring that guy from all his other movies. And, and that ninja guy from the last one. Who does the soundtrack. It's going to be better than Paradise Lost. His rap name is Ninja. He's the main guy in Chappie. I've never human. seen it, so oh, that's because okay. I was confused. Yeah. Hotel He's a rapist. A He's a rhyme talker. Anyway, 
Power Rangers news. What's going on with Power well, Rangers? Saban's Power Rangers is the new title of the movie. Mm. Apparently. And the script has been getting a few tweaks. And the cast of the characters, apparently new names. Which, just before filming this, we found out that that's possibly not the case. So we'll give you both names anyway. The Red Ranger, a.k.a. Jason Scott Lee, might be renamed as Colm Oliver, if that happens. And he's going to be the son of John Oliver. <laughs> Predictions. Then Kimberly Ann Hart, the Pink Ranger, may be renamed Priya Patel. Like all the other three billion Patels in the world. And then Billy Cranston, a.k.a. the Blue Ranger, might be renamed Brian Olsen. We know a Brian Olsen. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's spelled differently. Zach spelled. Taylor, a.k.a. the Black Ranger, might be renamed Oscar Fernandez. Is, is, it, is he the Latino one? He sounds like the Latino one. <laughs> that's what he'll end, what he'll end up being. If that's the name they go with. Well, di didn't they cast him already? And isn't he Latino? He's actually an Asian dude. Well, that doesn't make any fucking sense. Exactly. That's why he I said be possibly. Chang Li <laughs> Yan Shi. Then also, Trini Kwan, the Yellow Ranger, is apparently being renamed Tayana Jones. But, like I just said, Saban recently tweeted himself that they'll have the same names as the original. But. So it's two conflicting yeah, stories yeah. that came out this week. Yellow Ranger's not Asian anymore. Nope. So Trini Kwan doesn't make any sense anymore. Nope. But neither does Oscar Fernandez. Mm -hmm. And then, also, we have more news on casting. They finally casted the Yellow Ranger. Becky Gomez will be playing the Yellow Ranger. <laughs> See how fun this name game is? <laughs> Tayana Jones doesn't work for that, either. Exactly. Tayana Jones... Is a very black name. I'm sorry if that's racist. I don't know. Obs <laughs> observations tend to be racist nowadays. But that that sounds to me like mm -hmm. an African American person. And yet, <laughs> Becky Gomez. So I have no clue what's going on with the names. And we just covered two stories that may or may not be true. And they conflict. Have fun with that. Finally. Finally, I can't see it because it's, it's covered. Deadpool hits the IMAX. Fox Studios has finally made a deal with the IMAX for four movies, including Deadpool, the next installment of Wolverine, their sequel to Independence Day, and the third installment of Maze Runner. So, IMAX Fox movies. What jumps out at you? You want to talk about anything else? Power Rangers is going to be awful. And that saddens me. It's already turning into a clusterfuck of confusion. Which thing is... I, they haven't are, even started filming yet. I know! Which this might, they, actually be, this might actually be awesome, though, because it'll make it so that nobody knows what the fuck is going on outside of the actual production. Do they... <laughs> do they have a script? Apparently, yeah. Cause I said that but they, they don't have names? Nope. So what? They had do names, they just have and now they Ranger don't. Ranger and also in the same news, which I forgot to mention. Apparently, the classic uniforms will appear at some point in the film. So they're gonna yep. have new uniforms as well. It's gonna be like, look at those stupid fucking things. <laughs> or <laughs> it's gonna have, or it'll have the classic Power Rangers trope, where the new uniforms break for some reason, and nope. they have to put on the old ones. Isn't it the classic Power Rangers where they get they put on the old ones, get their ass kicked, and then get the new ones, and then kick their ass like like they were? Cause that that's that's how they got the second Zords. Yeah, but then like later on, there's another thing that happened in like a different series where oh, the, they, where the no, stuff none broke of the other and they had to summon count. like and they had to summon the old powers to wow. be able to fight. <laughs> so you never know; they Maybe can do anything they want. Later. They can do anything they want at that point. So yeah, that's movie news. I guess. How about you? Anything anything is nope. especially interesting to you? Uh, mostly just Power Rangers, but also Alien. 
Paradise Lost is annoying the shit out of me right now. What is that? Because they had all other this back than, and forth. Other than the fact it's going to be terrible. Because they have all this back and forth about what it's going to be. And then finally it gets renamed as Alien Paradise Lost. And they already had some really cool concepts going for Blomkamp's version of it. Like they've even had some really cool summaries about it. How they were going to be revisiting the second movie. So like that was something to look forward to. And instead we're getting another freaking prequel. <laughs> So it's like, I was hoping that we were going to be getting a Prometheus 2 and an Alien movie being worked on at the same time so they could release in short term from each other. That would have made me more excited. So then that way, if one of them was sucky and one of them was good, <laughs> there was more bang for the buck. I think the Alien movies are about tapped out. Pretty much. Unless Z- they start... Xenomorphs are not scary anymore. Nope. And unless they start going to, like, uh, because, uh, uh, like, Steve Perry, the author, wrote a lot of alien novels, and those are all really freaking awesome. So unless they start, like, going to other source materials out of canon... It, does, it, it doesn't seem like they want to do that, though. No. They want to stick with Ridley Scott. Because Ridley Scott's interested in making more, so now they just want to go with him, because he's the originator. But sometimes you've learned that going with the originator isn't a good idea. George Lucas! I was about to say that! So, yeah. And TV news. Jessica Jones. IGN apparently got their hands on the first seven episodes of the series and broke down why it's a must-see Marvel production. Mm-hmm. It's a... It's... Uh, More adult. The production takes you off a notch from Daredevil, so if you like Daredevil, more likely going to like this one even more. And it goes there, quote unquote. For those of you who don't know the story, he means there. (laughs) Along with other things, because it is a very adult, very, very adult story from the comics, back from a time when Marvel had Marvel Max. And Marvel Max was an R rated comic book series. So, yeah, it goes there. So, do not let your kids watch this. But if you're a fan of Marvel, Totally fucking watch this, is basically what they said. <laughs> or if you don't love your kids, let them watch this. And then, they t- and then either explain a lot of shit, or just let them be fucked up for life. I don't like love me. your kids, so why should you? Then also, The Walking Dead got renewed for season 7, as expected. Yay. And after Sea Evil Dead, that's a lot of dead. Also Lots got renewed. Renewed their words. For a second season. And it hasn't even though yet. yeah, it, even though the first season has not yet premiered. <laughs> Hopefully it doesn't suck. Hopefully the people don't hate it. Mm-hmm. So far it looks good and the hype is huge. And so they just figured, oh, we'll sign on for a second season. Uh. It's also I think thirty what was it, thirty minute episodes? It's like a twelve episode season. I think so, yeah. So it's not like it's that extenuous, either. Wow. So. Showtime needs a hit. Yep. All stars. Whatever. They need a hit even more. <laughs> exactly. I can't name a single thing on stars <laughs> other than crappy movies. Yep. I don't even think I get stars. Nope, I don't I think it. I do. So, yeah. TV news. Probably nothing you want to talk about any further. I already nailed the Jessica Jones thing, so... I don't watch much TV. You haven't noticed that by now. That's 20 episodes. I don't watch much TV. So this is the part of the episode where we talk about random crap. Yep. Such as Disney princess horror monster people. Yep. Link below. An artist. (laughs) Reimagined. (laughs) Disney princesses. As horror icons. Some of them are pretty cool. Like the Bride of Frankenstein. I guess. Also, you can wear clothing that is alive now. Yep. Or at least in the future. Mm-hmm. Apparently, a clothing was made with a certain kind of bacteria that triggers 
and shape shifts when you get sweaty. Known as life fibers. Mm. Yeah, no, it's not. That's a reference that three people are going to get. They're going to be like, awesome, you made that reference! <laughs> Everybody else going to be like, the fuck? Yeah. From the picture they show on the article, it looks like there's like a ventilation system on the clothing. When you start to sweat, it like opens up. I don't know. Didn't read too much into it. Figured it was neat, so I'll read it later. <laughs> but I'm bad at things. Anything else we need to talk about, Luke? Well, we're going on a two-month hiatus. Yep. So this is essentially our first season coming to completion. Yep. So we'll see you in January. New episodes. New news. And new things, yep. hopefully. And in between that time, if some really important news does come out, we will try to do editorials. Yep. Jeremy, May not be this whole setup. No, Jeremy and I will either get, on, get a camera, say some shit, and post it. That's basically an editorial. <laughs> so look forward to that, possibly. Also... My hair, I hate it so much. We're going to Star Wars, I'm gonna burn obviously. It. Yes, we will be doing a review of the Star Wars movie. <laughs> as soon as possible. As I talk way too loud into the mic. It's all good. Well, we'll, be, we'll probably have it out by the end of the weekend. Yeah. I'll so if, if you can't see it by the end of the weekend, watch our review first to see if it's worth it. Mm -hmm. Then go see it. Indeed. Or if you just want to hear what we had to say, and up to. Or if you just want to, like... Mute it and just have it play. Because we're rebranding our movie reviews as calibrated reviews, which will also include reviews of other things possibly in the future. Yes. Because. Such as video games. Yep. And, and yep. anything else that piques our interest. Yep. And then we have another show that's going to come out in a seasonal format, hopefully, soon. Hopefully. When we start planning shit out. At some point called in the future. Recalibrated, hence the name Calibrated Reviews for the other one, which will be about nostalgia stuff. Yep. We'll be reviewing old, old crap. Yep, and it, every time we release something, it'll be with, I believe, a video game episode, some kind of a TV episode, and a movie episode. Or something like that. Or something to that effect. So, it'll be like three episodes in one week once that season starts. Yes. So yeah, we'll see ya. At some point in the future. Mm -hmm. I make no promises as to when that's going to be. Hopefully, mm -hmm. by January. So yeah, thanks for watching us lately. If you haven't been, remember oh, if, to... If they haven't been, then they won't see that. True. Anyway, remember to like, comment, subscribe, share, and follow us. And yeah, see you later. See you in January. Did it again. <laughs>